Right then, quick video, informational this time because it's caused a bit of problem. So we've got this car and that car in and they've both got the same problem. So this one's the later CDUC engine. So this is kind of the same as our A5 V2. This is an Audi A7, but the engines are all the same. 245 horsepower, 2260 turbo, all that carry on. This one came in for a load of mods, but we've had to stop what we're doing while we get some confirmation from the customer. But basically, part of what we're doing, we always check what the air filter looks like. And this one looks a bit grubby, aftermarket, not original. But it's not sealing properly on the maths. So you can see it is sealing, but not quite where it should be. It should be all the way down. You can see how much crap's here and then how much crap has got inside it. So alarm bells are ringing. So we've had a quick look at the turbo and I think Danny's got a better video than it I've got here, but all the ends are all eroded away from all the grit and dust and crap that it's been sucking in. So the customer's wanting exhaust, all that sort of stuff, making it sound nice. So usually when people want that, they want them to be right. So I'm hoping that we get the go ahead to put a new turbo on this. It'd be nice if he wants an upgrade, we can put an upgrade on and get some more power rather than spending a load of money getting a standard one. But that's that one, it's crap, it's not very common on these, the filters caused it. Onto this one. So, we've done a video on these previously and it got mixed in with a bit of tune and stuff like that and it was a little bit longer video. But this is the earlier engine, this is a CAPA I believe, and these are really common, either from the factory or when people are servicing them. They take the air filter out and they do this usual thing of forgetting to put this seal back in because it is an absolute pig to get in. But we've seen cars that have not even been serviced anywhere other than Audi and they're missing that. Obviously then you end up with all the crap going into there. But especially if these pop off, I've seen it on a few cars we air ride and stuff where the, air, the knuckle knocks, the suspension knuckle knocks that off and then you get some right crap in. And then I'm hoping Danny's got a good picture of it because you can't really see it without torches and stuff. But I've not even had a proper look. Oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. But it's completely eroded away like this. It will make, it will make the boost and it probably will make the power. But if you're measuring the shaft speed of this turbo and seeing where you are, it'll be spinning way too fast to make that pressure because it's just not working properly. So, again, this is another one that if the customer didn't want us to change the turbo for another one, I know customers we've sent away and just said, look, we're not tuning it, or we'll tune it and on your head be it, and they've got a few more miles out of them before they've exploded, but they always do eventually go pop, especially if you don't put that seal back in. So, this one, the, the customer has okayed it. We're going to put a new turbo on put a new seal, new um, air filter, check everything else is nice and clean, and get it on its way.